Hello guys, it's Danica and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a really fun one. I'm gonna be eating like the Friends characters every day for one week. So every day I'm gonna be recreating one meal that's iconic to the Friends characters. And if you know me, you know that Friends is my favorite TV show. So this was really, really fun for me to make. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. For Phoebe, I made her grandmother's famous cookie recipe. What was her name? Nestle Tollhouse. Nestle Tollhouse? Baby! Is this the recipe? Yes! Add your dry ingredients to a bowl and set aside. To another bowl, add your sugar and your butter and whisk together before including the rest of your wet ingredients. Then, mix your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients. Add your non-dairy chocolate chips to your mixture. Roll your cookie dough into small balls before placing them on a pan lined with a silicone sheet. Bake them for 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Staying true to the Friends TV show, you gotta eat them with a cup of coffee. For Phoebe, I did the chocolate chip cookies because in one episode where Monica wants the perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe, Phoebe says that her grandmother, Nestle Toulouse, has the best recipe and it turns out that it's Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookies. I would have to say that Phoebe is probably the character that I relate to the most just because for the longest time I thought that I was a Monica but I've come to realize that I'm really a Phoebe. In all sense of the character, I'm Phoebe. I'm vegan, even though she's vegetarian. She just really has this personality that I relate to. But yeah, I think that I'm a Phoebe. Comment down below which character you relate to the most. I would like to know. Okay, so now I'm gonna taste Phoebe's grandmother's cookies. I also have my Princess Consuela banana hammock mug. Is it really a friend video if you don't drink coffee? Those are really, really good. I think I overcooked them a bit, but with coffee. I understand why Monica really wanted that recipe. For Joey, I made his favorite meatball sandwich. This is the greatest sandwich in the world! To a pan, add your marinara sauce. Then, add your meatballs. I use the Eve's veggie meatballs. Let them cook on medium heat. To make your sandwich, add your meatballs to a sub bun. I added a bit more marinara sauce on it and then I sprinkled some vegan cheese. If you watched the show and know anything about Joey, you know that he loves food and especially sandwiches. His love for food is honestly so relatable, I love food so much. Joey doesn't share food! So that's Joey's meatball sub. I think I did a pretty good job. Hey. How you doing? Oh my god, that's good. You really need to try this. I understand why you would risk his life to save the sandwich. I, w I was trying to save my sandwich. <laughs> From a bullet. I know it doesn't make much sense. Much sense? For Monica, I was inspired by the episode, the one with the jam, and I made some blueberry jam. I needed a plan. A plan to get over my man. What's the opposite of man? Jam. <laughs> Add the blueberries and the sugar to a pan. After a few minutes, mash it and bring it to a boil. Don't forget to add your lemon juice. Store your jam into a jar and it's ready to enjoy. As you know, Monica is a chef on the TV show, so I'm sure that everything that she cooks is delicious. 
for Monica, I decided to make some jam because of that episode where she was making a bunch of jam because she was trying to get over her ex, Richard. And I also made some toast because I feel like eating it from the jar would be really good. But that would be better if I was doing this part about Joey, which I'm not. I'm doing it on Monica. Remember when you were a kid and your mom would drop you off at the movies with a jar of jam and a little spoon? Also, I'm obviously wearing mom jeans because Monica is known for her iconic look with mom jeans. I relate to Monica a lot. She likes to cook and I love to cook. I have a whole channel about cooking and recipes. I'm less of a neat freak than her, but I do like my house to be really tidy and clean. I also love to be organized. Like I have to be organized if we go somewhere. Like if we have some plan or if we go somewhere or anything like that. I have to know exactly what time we're going, when we're gonna be there, what we're gonna do. I am kind of a really organized person for that kind of thing. I like to know in advance and I like to plan ahead. All right, I'm gonna taste this jam. I have a feeling that I'll maybe drop some on myself so I'm just gonna take apron. I'm really messy. <laughs> okay, that's better. That jam is really good, guys. I think Monica is one of the characters that people don't really like usually, but I do really like her and I do relate to her a lot. I thought for the longest time that I could relate to Monica the most as a character, but now that I really think about it, I think I relate the most to Phoebe, but I'm kind of a mix of both of them. For Chandler, I made mac and cheese with cut up hot dogs. Continuing the countdown of your favorite meals. Tonight, number three, macaroni and cheese with cut up hot dogs. Cut your veggie dogs and fry them up in the pan with a bit of olive oil. To a pot, mix vegan butter and non-dairy milk with a quarter of a cup of mac and cheese mix. Add your macaroni to the sauce and mix well. I will link the recipe for the mac and cheese mix in the description. It's from the blog It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. When the veggie dogs are ready, add them to your macaroni. And there you go, you have a delicious vegan mac and cheese with cut up hot dogs. For Chandler, I made a classic mac and cheese with some cut up hot dogs. I got inspiration from the episode where Monica was making all of Chandler's favorite food. I mean, mac and cheese with some cut up hot dogs is pretty much a classic. I made a vegan version obviously because I'm vegan, but it's still really, really good. Also, I wore this sweater because it reminded me a lot of Chandler style. Chandler and Monica are definitely my favorite couple. Anyone can fight me on this. Ross and Rachel does not stand a chance. I think Monica and Chandler are perfect for each other. For Ross, I made the legendary Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. You see, my, my sister makes these amazing turkey sandwiches. Her secret is she puts a, an extra slice of gravy-soaked bread in the middle. I call it the moist maker. To make it, I used the Gardein turkey cutlets. Let them cook for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm preparing the gravy. A lot of gravies are made with a beef or chicken base, but some gravy mix are accidentally vegan and are made with vegetable base. So just make sure to read the ingredients. Now you're ready to build Ross's famous sandwich. Add some mayonnaise to your bread, followed by lettuce and the garden turkey. And we can't forget the best part of the sandwich, the moist maker. Soak a piece of bread in the gravy and that's gonna go in the middle of your sandwich. Then add more lettuce and garden turkey and finish with a slice of bread. Someone at work ate my sandwich. <laughs> Well, what did the police say? I don't have leather pants, but I do have this leather jacket because you know Ross in that leather episode. <laughs> <laughs> They're not coming on, man. And I have the iconic moist maker sandwich. My sandwich! My sandwich! This I actually make 
very often. It is so good. This is a huge sandwich, so I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm really hungry, so I'm really excited to dive into this. The moist maker really is the star of this sandwich. So let's talk a bit about Ross while we eat this sandwich. Ross is probably my least favorite character. I do think he's really funny, like some of his scenes are really funny. Here we go, pivot! 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 He's really quotable sometimes. He has a lot of good lines, I'm not gonna lie. But as a character, I think he is quite manipulative. He's also really possessive. Yeah, he can be quite jealous and he's just not he's just not my favorite character in Friends. But like I said, I do think some of his jokes and some of his lines are really funny. Is that redeemable? I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below about Ross. You guys really need to try this sandwich. It is one of my favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I really hope you guys try it. It's really good. For Rachel, I made her infamous Thanksgiving trifle. Uh, what is it? It's a trifle. It's got all of these layers. More lady fingers, then beef sautéed with peas and onions, <laughs> bananas, and then I just put some whipped cream on top. What, what was the one right before bananas? I'm giving you measurements, but I really don't expect for you to try this at home. I totally made this as a joke, and also because I was curious what it tasted like. Since custard is not vegan, I replaced it with a pack of vanilla pudding that I made with almond milk. I replaced the ladyfingers with a cake mix because vegan ladyfingers are impossible to find. Beef in a dessert? No, 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 there is no way. Oh my god, she, she made half an English trifle and... Half a shepherd's pie. For the shepherd's pie filling, I used the Gardein beefless grounds and sauteed that with peas and onions. Then I assembled everything in layers. A layer of lady fingers, a layer of jam, custard, a layer of raspberries, more lady fingers, then beef sauteed with peas and onions, more custard, sliced bananas, and then I just put some whipped cream on top. For Rachel, I thought there's nothing less iconic than the Thanksgiving trifle. And I thought about not making it because honestly, it took me like two to three hours making this thing and it turned out looking pretty, pretty gross looking, which is probably what it tastes like actually probably tastes like shit but I managed to veganize it I really hope you guys don't try this at home like it's just for fun I really hope you guys don't try it I'm actually really hesitant to try this I'm gonna scoop some out in my plate I guess I guess you have to try it I'm not gonna spend all this time and not try it right you gotta get all the layers you gotta take a bite with all the layers yep there's a big piece of onion in there I'm gonna be honest every other recipe I was really excited to try but this one <laughs> I just hope it doesn't taste like feet. It tastes like feet! I'm not gonna put two. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. For Rachel, I thought a high turtleneck and a plaid skirt was really appropriate. I think it is quite Rachel Green. And every time that I wear an outfit like that, I think about her. And I mean, for her hair, I just, I just love Jennifer Aniston's hair so much. But let's be honest, I'm never gonna have as much volume as her. I tried, but this is the best I can do. Okay, now... I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste it. I have to taste it. Surprisingly, not that bad. Oh, there is an aftertaste though. It tastes like half a shepherd's pie and a half of an English trifle. It doesn't taste like feet. It doesn't taste like feet, but it's close. I think it's the onion. There's some bites that are good and some bites that are really fucking gross and I think it's because of the onions. Okay, that's enough trifle for today. Let's talk about Rachel for a bit. Rachel to me is a style icon, obviously. I really like Rachel. I think she is a really great character. I think anyone would only wish to be Rachel. What did you guys think about Rachel and Joey? I actually like them together. I think they're better for each other than Rachel and Ross, but that's just my opinion. I know some people don't like that, but I thought he was really good to her. He was really nice and he had good intentions. I'm just honestly gonna throw this away, guys. 
At least now I can say that I tasted this Thanksgiving trifle, which is iconic in itself. I wasn't supposed to put beef in the trifle! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a bit different from what I regularly upload, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. It was really, really fun for me to make. And I really want to make more of these types of videos on my channel. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because I upload every single Monday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!